Hi there, this is the Daily Dose of Dopamine. Your reps Robert Cochran, I'm Susan Scarlett, and we have this cool little nonprofit called Yes and Exercise. And we want to talk about yes and what comes along with that, what that means, and what we who we are and what we need. Well, thinking. we have needs. That, that's right. Specifically, we have needs. I think like any company, a company to me is is a relationship, especially a nonprofit. We are a relationship. We're in a relationship with people to serve them. And part of that is getting those people to be aware of what we do and then making sure they have access to what we do. Um, there, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of moving parts. I can tell you. <laughs> and we is mostly you. Yeah. And that's a lot of hats to wear. So that's why we're here. That's why we're having this conversation. Yeah. So the specific ask here, and we've had a, several of these right now, is for what we'll call an executive assistant. Now, I've, I've not particularly worn a CEO hat until this company. Um, I, I've been close to and worked with C-level executives before, so I get it. Um, the just like Susan says, it, it just means you are you're you're the the alpha and omega. You're where it starts and stops. So you're right; it's constant. Um, and and this need to put out there to recognize uh, we we have to have others involved is what this whole series is about. This is an intimate ask in the regard of an executive assistant. This is someone to handle. You know, things like uh, calendar, scheduling, uh, meetings, uh, right down to emails and, and really help filter as we're growing where my time can be and make sure that I'm not missing important things that are coming my way too, which does happen from time to time. Emails oh, by me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easy to, easy. yes, it's so easy for people to text or send you emails that they pile up. So yes, I think I think anybody in a leadership position. Let me give you my greatest fear. My greatest fear uh -oh. <laughs> that happens is the text from somebody saying, "Where are, are you still coming?" Oh, <laughs> oh that's not happened. It's that hasn't happened though. You're Ten not... minutes after something. <laughs> This is this is theoretic, right? You're, you're, no, you're... It, it has happened, and, and it's because of being overbooked. And you know, mm -hmm. you come back with apologies, and you know, I'm so sorry. And and most people get it. It doesn't happen a lot. It has happened. I I certainly use my calendar and schedule. Uh, I get overbooked. Uh, I get you know, uh, yeah. Also, being a dad, being a husband, uh, you know, being a caretaker for my parents, all of those things, fun, whole right? various directions. Yeah, yeah. Purposes, that's just life. Um, but this is the need, and I, it's so important we're talking about needs here, of saying, I need help. And, and it's everything we do improvisationally and her heroic in the heroic journey. We're talking about mentors right now. Um, any team that we put together needs both mentors and allies to help the, the hero navigate. So uh, this is a practical question, Robert. Does this person need to be local to where you live? No, virtual, I think, is really, really totally doable in this day and age okay. that accessing, you know, the, the various things that I have access to and, you know, therefore giving this individual, um, you know, the the ability to to just to, to be a second set of eyes for me, you know, as a mm -hmm. sounding board and help me, you know, hey, this is the thing that needs something. It's time to it's time to distribute. It's time to pass the ball setting up this whole team, this person could could get to know me in a way, know my tendencies, know where I'm holding up, maybe know where I'm avoiding, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, push me in the proper direction and just, you know, again, make make me a better me. Can you think of personality characteristics that, that you would value or that would be essential in the dynamic between you and this person? I'd say organized and, and a great listener really pop off, number one, that that this person hears well and really embodies the yes and spirit to say, yes, this is what you're saying, and here's what that means or how that's being perceived. So, you know, positive, uh, diligent, uh, you know, able to to really look look at the nitty gritty and and also see big picture with me and and you know. Be able to, uh, you know, 
work positively together. It's a rare person who can see the nitty gritty and, and see the big picture. Yeah. Um, really rare. So yeah. if you had to fall off on one side of that or the other, I, I think you need the, the detail person. I agree. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I agree. If, if this was a person who could solely say, I, my stock and trade is in the details and that's all I do, leave the big picture to somebody else, that's fine. Yeah, you know, there's a there's a wish list and there's perhaps a reality list. Uh, if if I think it's a great way you position that. So yeah, as we put this wish out there, we're looking for an executive assistant for yes and exercise uh, to help us grow and be who we are. We're looking for that detail oriented person who can go through the communications and make sure the schedules and everything else is clean and well handled and represent uh, who we are. Can you? Can you? This is first time this has come up in my head and uh, can you guess what kind of time like hours per week or month that you would need a, someone to be you know, an assistant to you it's a great question i you know I, I the number that pops in my mind right away would say 10 hours a week if somebody could give me two hours a day you know an hour in the morning and an hour at night just kind of to alpha and omega me to, to bracket me and say here's what i'm seeing you know, set me up and then cap me off, set me up and cap me off. But that would and that, be great. And they could all be virtual. I mean, they may not even need to talk to you. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I mean, exactly. And I don't mean it would have to be fixed schedule in the morning and night, but that's an idea. It could be midday, whatever. But yeah, I think checking the, those, uh, you know, the, the beginnings and ends of things, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And I think being a good executive of our own time, that's our time for today's Daily Dose. Exec assistant, you were looking for you. Get us up. Thank you. <laughs>